and so let's move on to Dragonite EX so Henry if you are here or Jedi <laughs> only three legacy decks <laughs> I know one of them is for from today though you'll be seeing one legacy deck today um so 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 um Jedi if you are here please say so so that we can um start up the battle please say so if you are here so that we can start up the battle send me a challenge um yeah Rumblade I mean today we are doing viewer battle so if you wanted to play you could um color <laughs> yo sé yo sé pero um, no me quiero comprometer como la otra vez, pero si todo sale bien, la próxima semana habrá uno que otro videito en español. Ajá, si, si tengo ánimos el fin de semana de ponerme a trabajar. <laughs> ok, Jedi, so good luck. We're playing Dragonite DX. Yeah. No Dragonite v -Cavolt. No, it's actually Dragonite DX with Tapu Coco. <laughs> buen juego, Kevin. Muy buen deck. Um, okay, so let's flip some heads. Oh, here we do flip heads. Here we do flip heads. Okay, I would like to go first. And not the best start. Definitely not the best start. Get ready for this crazy deck, he says. <laughs> it's not crazier than mine. It's not crazier than mine. Okay. So I don't want to bench the Coco. Es correcto, Coler. Y es que el tema es que no es negocio. <laughs> Ese es todo el problema. Uh, Uni Panther fan, thank you so much for the extra bits. Very, very kind of you. Okay. Um, there's a list, Rumblade. <laughs> like, chill. <laughs> there's a list, and obviously, since you just said so, like, I'll add you to the list, but um, there's priority for subscribers as well. Okay. So, if I hit this elixir, I could be in an okay position. Um, I feel like I should get the mysterious treasure because as you can see I am using this Dragonite I could also get a random receiver now because if I get Sycamore I'm gonna be a sad panda okay so mysterious treasure the wishful baton I'll grab a Dragonite. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So I'm gonna bench the Coco. And then I'm gonna Elixir. The Grass. And this can move any basic energy. Yeah. Any basic energy. And then I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move this energy as well we become active and we even get to draw an extra card with instruct so pretty good deal honestly pretty good deal and then we will steal elixir oh how do we wave i feel like i i'm pretty sure i have either 14 nuts or 16 energy <laughs> Está bien, color. Um, creo que hace falta eh, videos en español eh, si tuviera más tiempo me encantaría hacerlos no pero Pero no puedo. No me alcanzan las horas en esta vida. <laughs> okay, so we're up against a Malmar deck. But our Dragonite is already threatening that poor, poor Inke. And we do have Jetsonic. And of course I'm playing four Super Scoop Ups here. I'm playing Ace Rolas. And... Let's see how well this can go. Let's see how well this can go. Oh 
Okay, we stayed asleep. That's not very nice. So, let's... Okay, we flip heads. I'll return the Coco. And I'll attach an energy. And I'll bench the Coco. My intention is to attack with Dragonite, right? <laughs> oh, I can't attack. Oh, uh, that was so silly. <laughs> I forgot I couldn't move the grass. I actually forgot I couldn't move the grass. Oops. Oopsie daisies. And okay, this is okay. If we get a grass here, which we do, we actually can attack by playing another Dragonite. So I'm gonna move this lightning and then these two grass. And that's it, I don't wanna move the extra energy and we will get the KO. So we successfully, <laughs> We successfully played around the sleep. And Jack the Knight, thanks so much for the follow and welcome. Um, <laughs> Ray, <laughs> thank you. I mean, I don't like saying it, or I guess I say it a lot, but I do think I am on a statistical improbability. Like, it is quite incredible the things that happen. <laughs> you're watching, you're watching how to play around sleep. Um, <laughs> you're watching how to play around sleep, um, by Tableman. <laughs> okay, Professor's Letter. Uh, this has two retreats. This is gonna be pretty cool. If I flip another heads with the super scoop up, that's gonna be pretty nice. Okay, so another Dragonite. We actually managed to, to wake up, which is nice. Um, okay, so I'm gonna Wishful Baton the active. I'm gonna attach the grass here because Tapu Goku's uh, non fairy weakness could be good here and then I'll just Jet Sonic really sad that my opponent's just not drawing well okay uh oh Okay, you can let's let's rematch. Send me a challenge. Okay, so I'm gonna play this again because my opponent clearly didn't draw very well. Yeah. So like this game lasted two three turns or four turns. So we're gonna replay. Yeah, we're gonna rematch. We are going to rematch because of the dead draw. Yeah, I don't see him online. I don't know why, but Jedi, when you can, please send me the challenge. Can I please, please send me a challenge again whilst you're doing it? Here we go, another Forbidden Light code, guys. This time, this, uh, guys, this time not um, upside down. Yeah, this time not upside down, the camera's not focusing. There we go. So good luck to whoever gets it. Good luck to whom, whomever or whoever. I'm actually not sure. Okay, so this is game two, so I'll let my opponent go first. And we have a chance at attacking turn one. Well, not with that hand, no. <laughs> okay, so my opponent changed decks here. So, Enhanced Hammer is annoying. We see strong energies and DCEs. Which is interesting. We also mulligan twice. Okay, 
So I'm going to start Coco because Dragonite is more flexible. If we hit flip, if, yeah, if we hit flips, <laughs> if we hit heads on order pad and we get an elixir and we get a lightning energy off of either elixir, we cannot get a turn one KO <laughs> because we deal 120 damage. Well, I guess we could with Guzma, depending on what we're up against. Depending on what we are up against. Okay, we're up against a Ligon Rock deck with bird candies. Hmm. I have no clue what this is. I have no clue what this is. Can we actually uh, can we actually hit heads on order pad though? This only absorbs lightning energy, not basic energy. And we actually hit heads. That's the question here. Hmm. Nest ball for Diancy. Okay. There's merit to KOing Diancy. Okay. Uncertain cards first. Let's not go. Okay. So we shall elixir. We do hit. And we'll attach. And we shall end. Rockruff is looking pretty scary though. No. Hmm. And Voltner is pretty broken here because Voltner gets you an energy and potentially an elixir or a super scoop up. I think I just pass here. No need to bench anything else. I don't want to over bench for Lagonrock's dangerous road. Hmm. Although this could be the other Lagonrock maybe? Probably not, right? Probably not. This has been the story of the of the stream. Tail one has flipped two tails. Ooh, professor's letter. And Mallow. Interesting. Interesante. Crimson Invasion, Forbidden Light, Forbidden Light, Forbidden Light, Crimson Invasion, Forbidden Light, Forbidden Light, Forbidden Light. Okay. I have all these codes left to give away today, guys. All of these codes left to give away. Oh my gosh, this is Guard Jump. This is car jump car jump is actually so scary and my opponent just mallowed as well okay so i'm gonna grab an elixir i'm gonna grab an energy my opponent just mallowed and we do hit the elixir which is nice so i'm gonna play this guy and I will absorb all the energy and then the lightning will go here and then this will go here and then I will ultra ball oh now I have triple oops I'll keep the cocoa maybe a wishful baton would have actually been better I think a wishful baton would have actually been better I don't want to deal the extra damage, there's no need. I mean, opponent has already played two DC, so it's unlikely he'll have another one. It's unlikely. You guys can use all of these commands, like Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, um, Master Ball for subscribers, and then there's Timer Ball, and then, in case you guys are interested, 
in uh, Celestial Storm, guys. Oh, that one didn't work. Oh, it's yes. In case you guys are interested in Celestial Storm booster boxes, uh, Tilted Village has $90 booster boxes shipped anywhere in the United States. Oh gosh. There's like and rock. Oh, <laughs> there's a choice, man. Oh, he already played Cuckoo. Never mind. Wait, oh, switch. Uh, I messed up. I should have grabbed Wishful Baton. I should have grabbed Wishful Baton. Okay, I think I just attach and pass. Yeah. We're in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, it is pretty underwhelming, Ray Ray. It is pretty underwhelming. More energy in play. No guard jump yet, which is good news. Oh no. Okay, that's not enough for a KO, I think. Yeah, because I'm not weak to fighting. So the GX move doesn't do enough and Claw Slash doesn't do enough. So I'll barely survive. I will barely, barely survive. And then if I can GX this Lycan Rock, I should be good. And hopefully I can do it with a Grass Energy. Oof, 10 short. <laughs> 10 damage short. Okay, three energy going back. I will play down this guy. Okay, I feel like I have to waste her all out. I have to go all out. I need to draw three cards with Oranguru. So I won't use the ability, I don't need to. I don't need to use this ability. And one energy. Yes, okay. Not the one I wanted, I guess, but Ah, that Wishful Baton, instead of that, I got too greedy with the Elixir. If I had just Wishful Baton, I would have been completely fine. Like, I did the same thing, it just cost me... Well, it didn't cost me, it cost me an Acer Ola, so it's not that big of a deal, I guess. Not that big of a deal, I get the Super Scoop up, I have Mysterious Treasure, so all is good here. All is good. <laughs> this feels more like a Tapu Koko deck than a Dragonite deck, though. Definitely feels more like that. Okay. There's an energy there. We can find a goose now. We should be able to take over the game. We should be able to take over the game. And this is the first the first yeah the first technically the first game of Dragonite there were quite a few Dragonites to choose from but this one ended up being the the best one I guess oh no there's the guard jump there's the guard jump and Royal Blades is pretty scary one Cynthia down okay so let's order pad first with tails. Let's mysterious treasure away. I feel like super scoop up's not gonna be too useful anymore. So I'm not gonna grab the Dragonite. I will however attach an energy. And I will instruct. Oh I should not have attached there. Darn it. I keep misplaying. I actually keep misplaying. Because I have wishful baton. Right? I have wishful baton. Not attacking might actually be better here. No, I wanna get the price. Let's hope my opponent doesn't have Cynthia. If he does, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, there's another Wishful Baton. Like, I am keeping energy in play. The issue is I don't have Grass energy. That's a big issue. Oh, okay, good. That, that sad face means no Cynthia. Yeah, that sad face 100% means no Cynthia. There's a guard chump, there's a Bridget. And 
here's another code guys upside down forbidden light code for you guys to try and get hopefully i never like usually very few people tell me they got the code so i'm hoping i'm just not throwing away codes for nothing um okay only 120 damage that's great can i super scoop up here yes i can So let's do this. And then let's attach the energy here this time. And let's these roll on. So yeah, Dragonite not getting too much action. Dragonite not getting too much action, but it is what it is. Garchomp survives here. See if my opponent can find a Cynthia this turn. If he does, we might be in trouble. If he doesn't, we should be okay. There's Gabite. Cynthium. Okay, the Cynthia is worrisome. There's a Royal Blades. So I think my play here is probably to knock out with Oranguru and end my opponent down to two cards. I feel okay there's a grass which is good I think my play here is to end my opponent down to one card I mean to two cards to prevent the lichen rock and if he gets it then Oranguru survives which is great right because if I bench something else then he can just GX knock out anything with an energy and lichen rock so I'm gonna try and prevent that Pretty intense game, honestly. Ooh, he nearly promotes the rock rough. So did he actually get it? The good thing is my energy is safe. The bad thing is that they're not that impactful, I guess. I mean, as long as I can prevent him from hitting 180. Oh. Ultra Ball for Lele? I assume? No, for Lycanroc, okay. That's interesting. I mean, he brings up Draconite and... Uh, he brings up Dragonite, the unpowered one. And that does put me in a little bit of pickle. That only puts me in a little bit of a pickle. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be a very intense finish to this game. Very, very intense. <sighs> Triple retreat. If I go for another Dragonite and he top takes a fighting, I lose the game. Two Cynthia's obviously has four, so that's two outs. He still has four strong, that's six cards. Oh, I don't think I can do this. If I ultra roll for Coco, he still wins. Hey, Jaboxa, todavía cinco más. Oh yeah, think of us. Is this expanded? Uh, Mr. Mammoth, this is uh, the TCG Pokedex series. This is the TCG Pokedex series where we are trying to build a deck for each and every single Pokemon out there. Or at least every evolution line. Um, I mean, even if he... Like, if I don't do this, then how, how am I ever going to retreat? Right? How am I ever going to retreat that Dragonite? 
So I think I have to go for it. I'm gonna use Dragonite for the heck of it. I mean, if I find a super scoop up and I flip heads, then that helps, right? Okay, so I'll absorb one and well. Okay, I'll absorb all from Dragonite. Yeah. And then I'll instruct her to. Yeah, so it's Dragonite's turn. Um, ooh, okay, super scoop up. Let's go. Let's go. That was the heads we needed. That was actually the one head sleep we needed. <sighs> that was so lucky. What's my opponent's top deck? So yeah, like imagine if I had the third Pokemon and he top decks a fighting or a way to get a fighting, he just GXs me for game. So that was, that's why I was hesitant to go for the Coco, but, or the Dragonite. Um, in the end, um, <laughs> I'm just giving them out um, randomly throughout the stream, uh, Glorin. So, in the end, it, I needed the super scoop up, right? That's what I needed. Oh no. <laughs> okay, this is okay though. He top decks Kuzma. I feel like this is okay. Because now we can, like, potentially manually power this up, and we can find a Guzma ourselves, which I hope I put in the deck. I think we can aggressively go for it now. I don't want to take a knockout, honestly. I actually don't want to take a knockout. I just need to find Guzma myself. Uh, I could have just won with Dragonite. If I choose to discard the energy, I, um, I deal 120. Okay, super scoop up, not very useful, so I'll just pass here. This is intense. This is intense. No, <laughs> top deck Cynthia. Uh, top deck Cynthia. Floatstone energy wins him the game. He has already used switch. Field blowers, that's not important. This is very intense. I need a Kuzma. I have not played a Kuzma yet. I hope I put Kuzma in the deck. Maybe that's how I fit everything. Maybe I actually don't have Kuzma in this deck. I am actually not sure. I don't remember if I have Kuzma or not. Ultra Bolts away. And see, this is why I shouldn't have KO'd, because if I KO'd, then the Ligon Rock would be active, and then one energy just wins him the game. There's no way he's not playing four strong, right? Absolutely no way. One card in hand, and doesn't commit the energy. That is actually super strange. Tails. Do I have Kuzma or not? That's the question. I do? Okay. That's good to know that I have, that I do have Guzma. Yeah, I have three Guzmas in my 14 card deck. I have three Guzmas in my 14 card deck. Okay. Is there a reason why PTCGO is not that popular compared to other online card games? Uh, yeah, it's simply because, oh, come on, Guzma Energy? It's simply because there's no tournaments, right? Kuzma energy? No. <laughs> You're kidding me. You are actually kidding me. Two cards. Kuzma energy. I saw like five cards and I couldn't find my Kuzma. Yeah, it's because the online version has a lot of bugs and stuff. So, I'm pretty sure that's probably why. Like, it's not used competitively. GG Jedi, that was very intense. That was actually very intense. So, Henry, are you out there? Because I haven't seen you respond in a while. 
If you are Henry, if you are, please say so. Please, please say so, Henry, so that we can get the battle going. Otherwise, it'll be Riddleski's turn. Yeah. So, Riddleski, if you are out there, now is your time to shine. Now is your time to shine. Eh, no sé, Kevin, solo para hacer algo más divertido Podría, Sí pensé en el Evolutions, pero se me antojó más este <ríe> Por el tema de reciclar y los Super Scoop Ups <ríe> Ok, Riddleski, so send me a challenge Because Henry doesn't seem to be around Or I'll send you a challenge since you're already here Oh gosh, why does this happen? Ok Uh, what? Oh, they're perfect. Okay. So, Henry's pending. And there's there's still one spot left. Yeah, there's still one spot left to play. For you guys to be part of history. <laughs> For you guys to be a part of uh, the making of um, the TCG Pokédex series. Okay. So... We shall pass and we shall venture and guru and then that's it it's so nice to know oh my gosh another guard jump deck how on earth do we beat these decks hello sky egg thanks so much for being here thank you so much for being here okay It's very intense. Energy to Riolu. And Choice Band. And Cynthia. Okay. So sending before committing to the Cynthia. That's fine. One Cynthia down is good. It's definitely good news for us. Definitely good news for us. And we see an Ultra Ball. Discarding Bridget, okay. So in the meantime guys, not upside down this time, it is a Crimson Invasion. Code Guard, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the support. And let's get back to the game. Okay, so let's try to order path. We flip hands. Okay, good. So, I think Elixir is always a priority, right? So, I'll bench. Okay, this? No. I'm gonna Elixir onto Dragonite. Ah, uh, yeah. The grass, and we attach the grass, and then we Cynthia. Are there many people that play, that only play the online TCG? Um, I actually think so, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the wrong energy to get the turn one knockout. No. Um, I do believe there are quite a few people who play online. Um, like just based on there's an online tournament going on right now, and 256 uh, people signed up overnight. So I do think there's interest for um, for online tournaments. And I will actually be doing online tournaments next month, hopefully. Yeah. Um, with cash prizes, hopefully. Yeah, but there's definitely a demand. There's just no platform to do so yet. Oh boy. Okay. So, this is really sad. Not getting the lightning here after I thinned two grass and then I top picked another grass. I am in the team when I'm in tournaments, Skyek, and I actually played the round earlier today, and I lost on a very, very bad misplay. Um, put a Pokemon back. Yes. And I'll do this. Heads, okay. So let me do this. I really just want a Lightning. 
right? I really just want a lightning energy. So please let me have it for DCGO. I only need to grass and then instruct for two lightning. No, what? Why is this happening? Ah, oh, where is my lightning energy? That code was gone in like five seconds. Yeah, I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people get them so quickly. Okay, yeah, my opponent is also not drawn very well, so I really shouldn't complain. Really sad though that I haven't been able to take advantage of the double elixir play that I got, but how was I supposed to know? Right? How was I supposed to know that I need to attach that, that I need to choose a lightning? As my attachment for a turn rather than the grass. Oh well. Evo Soda for Gabite. I feel like that's a mistake because the Gabite is probably a gunner unless it has free retreat. It does not. Which is good. So I feel like that Evo Soda was a little bit wasted. And <laughs> what is this? I'm using up so many of these cards just to get a silly lightning energy. I'm playing a Gardevoir Sylvian deck. Playing a Gardevoir Sylvian deck. Which definitely did not work out as I hoped. <laughs> definitely did not work out as I hoped. Okay, at least we got the knockout here. At least we got a knockout. an end that's pretty good I think I disagree with a gable being promoted well maybe not <laughs> enjoy your meal Jedi enjoy your meal okay do I have any plans to join Team Win and In? I'm actually part of Team PTCGO. So I haven't been asked. And I'm part of a different team. Although our team is not really doing anything. So <laughs> it's like I'm not in the team. Um, if I were asked, I'd consider it, yeah. But I haven't been asked. Okay, retreats into the Rock Grove, that's fine. And passes. So yeah, my opponent just not drawing very well. I feel like I should hunt down the Gible. Like that's the only scary Pokemon. Well, Rockruff is also pretty scary. So I'll take down the Rockruff and then I'll hunt down the Gible. I think that makes the most sense. I think that definitely makes the most sense. Okay, there's another Lucario, there's another N. My opponent is not drawing very well. And that's the issue with Garchomp Lucario, right? You need a stage 2 and a stage 1 to get going. Like if you get to a point, awesome, but if you don't, it just gets very, very tricky and difficult to manage. Ooh, single puzzle or double? 
But you can't tell because it always does double there. I'm hoping it's double for him. It is double, okay. Ooh, trouble though. Why would you ultra wall unless you have the rare candy, right? Assume he has the rare candy. There's no way he goes for a Gabite here. And sour, sour Power Belts, yes, today's Pokedex. We are finishing off the Kanto part of the Pokedex. We are finishing off the Kanto part of the Pokedex. We are up to Dragonite. We're only missing Mewtwo and Mew, which is pretty cool. And the Mew deck is actually a pretty special deck. The Mew deck is a deck that I have used at a World Championship. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so my opponent finally able to like find stuff. I feel like the two energy on the Lucario are actually going to end up costing him. Um, because it, it will allow my Tapu Koko to one hit KO his car jump. As long as I find the Coco, right? <laughs> as long as I find the Coco. And he does have two abilities, yeah. Like once a deck gets going, it's really good. But the issue is getting to that point and not being too far behind, which I guess my opponent really isn't too far behind at this point. I guess he's actually not too far behind. I don't know what the two cards are. I think we definitely spread the energy. I think we definitely do this. Okay. I'm just, I'm happy I get to spread the energy. Should I end? Yeah, I should end. Um, we give him extra cards, but at least we take away the ones he directly searched for. And I do believe that I should definitely knock out the Lucario. It's one less um, ability that he can use to search out cards with, right? If it was this Lucario, I might actually keep it alive. Just for the sole reason that uh, Tapu Koko. Why not instruct before N? Probably a good idea. I simply forgot I had Ranguru there. I should have instructed for one. Was it one? Yeah, right? I should have instructed. I definitely should have instructed. Um, Sour Power Builds. I played Psychic Malamar at NAIC. I played Malamar with four Hoopa from Steam Siege. That's what I played at NAIC. Okay, off of six cards and one ability, there's no way Riddleski should whiff um, the right combination of cards here to KO my Dragonite. That will put him at three prizes, but then I will take care of the card jump. Like, there's no way he doesn't Cynthia here. So he, either you're precognitive for the Cynthia or you're precognitive for the energy, whichever you're missing. And if you're missing the energy, you go for the Cynthia and then hope to get the energy. Anything else would just be very weird. And there's the Cynthia. Okay, so playing it risky, if you will. Two energy down. Only two energy down. And my opponent shows an angry face and immediately immediately passes so let's uh, it's just he's already used a Cynthia I'm gonna be a gent like I'll do a gentleman's agreement it's sad that he whiffed frozen heart thanks so much for the follow 
And no worries, Henry. No worries. Um, gentleman's pass, so you can hit hit the cards. Um, no worries, Henry. So you're up next. Yeah. Day two, you hit three out of the four evil tall breaks. Oh, jeez, <laughs> that's really sad. But hey, congrats on making it to day two. Um, Jaboxa, justamente al ser el mejor mazo del formato, eh, casi todo el mundo tenía algo para intentar contrarrestarlo. ¿No? Entonces, justamente por eso es que no ganó, porque era, es tan bueno el mazo que... Eh, que tenía como un gran blanco en la frente y todo el mundo traía cosas psíquicas y tech psíquicas y todo para intentar ganarle. Ok, so let's go again with the Cynthia. Gentleman's pass on my side so that he could get the fighting. There we go. There we go. There we go. My opponent happy finally <laughs> that he gets that. Um, I feel I feel like I'm still okay here. Yeah, that was just like a friendly a friendly nudge. That was a friendly nudge. Wait, why? Why would you? Yeah, okay, just confirming, I guess. Okay, so he's not gonna be happy after I use Tabu Goku's GX move, but it's okay. So, oh, I even top deck the Koko. Jeez. The deck really wants me to win. So I'm gonna go ahead and Suprad. Just more energy into the deck. And then I will play the Coco. I'll absorb one lightning, two lightning, three lightning. The lightning energy are in big demand here. And then I'm gonna play this. I do play a pet, so I'll put the Dragonite back and I will end. Just put it back into the deck. It was locked, Sour Power Belt? I don't think so. I doubt it was just luck. Uh, and then let's tap with Thunder for the KO. 150 damage. Even if he didn't have those two energy on Lucario, I guess that still would have been a KO on Card Jump. Okay. Um. Thank you so much, Mr. Mammoth, for uh, joining the stream. Thank you so much. And I guess I'll see you on Monday, right? I'll see you on Monday stream then. I'll see you on Monday. Okay. I'm going to try and do like some actual videos for uh, for next week. With Celestial Storm cards. Like actual deck profiles with Celestial Storm. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so Lucario is there. It's dealing 100 damage. That's fine. You see a Nevo Soda. We can just grab Dragonite, Devolve, KO the Lucario. And then hopefully a Guzma would win us the game. And without Lucario, my opponent's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Honestly. Without Lucario, my opponent's gonna be in a lot, a lot of trouble. And there's the missile jab. That's okay. Good thing Tabu Goku is actually not weak. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and discard this. Um get proximal like a guard jump Lucario. Okay, so I'm gonna absorb one lightning and two grass. Um, maybe I could do two lightning actually, because I'm gonna discard one, right? And so I'll do this. I will acer all the cocoa just to make sure. Oh, then I should have absorbed all of them, I guess. That's fine. And I will jet Sonic and discard a lightning. So I actually can't play Coco next turn. 
which is fine because I have the Kuzma. I have the Kuzma and the Lightning to just KO whatever he doesn't evolve. Ah, uh, yes, Joe Bro. <laughs> the command is supposed to uh, discourage you from playing Timer Ball <laughs> because you always flip to tail. Maybe there will be a rare scenario where you flip heads, but we'll never know, right? We shall never know. Okay. And that's the game. That is El Juego. GG, real ski. G. G. Okay, 770 damage. So, Henry, if you are ready, please send me a challenge. Please send me a challenge so that we can get started with the next deck which features Mewtwo. And then 